Hi guys, my name is Sergey, and today I want you to present you one of our integrated UData into our Serum webinar series related to import and export. In first part we will overview import and export schema. Uh, second part is related to import and export configuration for configurable entity. As an example we will use B2B customer. And the third part will uh, will do uh, in third part we will do import and export customization as a customization example we will add text to our entity in import and export. Import and export schema is quite simple. Uh, both managed by job. Each job contains contains of step steps executed one by one. Each step contains three services. Reader gets data from CSV file. Processor converts data to object representation in array. Serializer converts the representation into objects. Strategy adds some import logic, uh, for example, validation and ownership management. A strategy is optional. Writer writes converted data into database. Reader read data from database uh, or other source. Export processor is similar to import but with some differences. Serializer converts object into nested arrays. Data converter converts it to plain data and strategy is not required for export uh, process. A writer writes, writes data to file or another source. Entities are managed by entity config bundle. So to add configurable entity import and export, we need to add the fields configuration using field config annotation. Uh, also, we need to define import and export processor and their dependencies and, and button configuration. Uh, let's walk through fields configuration. Header option is in import export scope is used to change your column header from default field label to any custom one. Identity field is used to search entity in database. In case it was not found and add replace strategy is used, new entity will be added. To manage column order in file, you can use order option. Column with lowest field order option will be first. You can easily exclude field from export and import process using excluded option. To manage entity relations, you need to use full option. True value on any relation will export all not excluded fields. False value will export identity fields only. Fields configuration is uh, you can manage fields configuration using UI. Let's uh, check import and export configuration for our entity. To do that we should go to system entity entity management page. System entities entity management Let's find our B2B customer. And check that name field is identity. Use as identity is set to yes. In addition, let's check that created add and updated add properties are excluded for, from import and export. Exclude column value is yes. And next let, let's check that uh, billing and shipping addresses fully exported. Export fields configuration should be set to all. That means that full option uh, get, gets uh, true value. So uh, let's define services for import and export. First one is data converter, used to match column headers and entity properties using header conversion rules and uh, to convert plain data to nested, nested object representation for import and 
and uh, nested array to plain data for export. For configurable entity, we should use configurable table data converter. So on this step, we are adding data converter service definition. First step is to add service definition for data B2B customer data converter that uh, extends a configurable table data converter. Uh, next step is to add strategy. For configurable entity, we should uh, use configurable uh, add or replace strategy. It will process entity relations, check entity and its relation relations ownership and validate, validate entity. So on this step, we are adding service definition for our strategy. It extends configurable add or replace strategy service. Strategy fire events before and after entity processed. So as an option, we can modify uh, entity using a listener for Z events. Configure, uh, configured import validation process uh, processor will do a validation and output error, error if validation failed. After successful validation, import processor will perform an import. Validation processor is required and can be same as import processor. So now we add in service definition for our import and import validation processors. It, it depends on previously defined data converter and strategy. It should be registered with ORO import export uh, tag and import and import validation types. So now we add in definition for our import and import validation processor. So, to add buttons, uh, we can use existing macros. It requires entity class and processor aliases. Title and data grid name are optional. If grid is defined, that grid will be reloaded once file was imported. Now we are adding button configuration that contains import processor alias. Button will appear on entity index page. Uh, let's check button configuration with entity class passed and import processor alias. So now we are able to do an import. I will use a prepared file. It contains data same as a grid, so it will replace all entities. So here we have 48 entities to replace. Let's do that. As an option, if entity was not found, it will add new one. So now we should get 40, 47 entities to replace and one to add. Just remove entity should appear on grid. Export processor definition is similar to import processor. The differences are only in type and missing strategy. It should be registered with, with ORO import export tag and export type. So now let's define it and add alias to button configuration. On this step, we add an export processor definition. and add its alias to export processor option to buttons macros. And on this step, we are able to ex export existing entities. Let's do that. In result, we will get new file. 
with exported entities. In addition, we can add export template processor. It will export file with data from Figcha, so you can export it and fill it with your own data. It requires Figcha registered with Oro import export template Figcha tag and data converter uh, that based on uh, template Figcha configurable data converter. Configuration is similar to export template configuration. Let's check configuration for that service for that service. So now we are in new data converter for template fixture and template fixture processor definition. And now we are able to export example file. Let's save it and check its content. Here we have Jerry Coleman entity as example and we can fill it with our own data. As an improvement in third part of our webinar, let's add text to import and export. To do that we need to update uh, three services. Improvement contains three, three, three steps, custom data converter, normalizer and strategy. Data converter should contain new rule for column headers and should transform text names into one line and back. Get header con conversion rule in data converter responsible for he header rule. So we need to add new rule. So next step we add in custom data converter that contains new rule for text property and text list uh, column and uh, add new backend header to make text uh, property appear in export. Convert to export uh, format mm, responsible for converting our data according to previously defined rules into export formats. So in our case uh, we should get a string Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We should get text name as array, array <coughs> and implode them into one string and in, put in put it contents to text list column. So we are imploding them and back them into exported data. Convert to import format uh, should explode them back and uh, pass it to entity property pass as an array. And in addition we need to update service definition with newly created class. As an in example uh, file we can see that uh, ID column should be converted into ID property, name column should be converted into name property and the channel col column should be converted into channel related entity name property. In addition ID name and channel should appear in e e export too. Import and export uses improved serializer component with context argument for supports method same as normalize and normalize methods. Normalizer should be registered using Oro import export normalizer tag. On slide uh, there is an example for simple normalizer. It creates object from plain data in the normalize method and return data from object in normalize method. Support normalization and support normalization method check that normalizer is applicable. So at the current step we need to convert our tag names into objects. Let's do that in normalizer using names list from data converter and tag manager. So on this step we are adding custom normalizer that will 
transform our tag names from converted data into object using tag manager load or create tags method <coughs> and set them back to object and return it if if uh, operation was successful support normalization should check that uh, current class name uh, is same as uh, configured configured using di Normalize method should transform our tags from object to arrays. Let's use a get prepared array method from tag manager that will convert object tags into array. Uh, next next step is to <coughs> is to get their names and if there was some tags we should uh, pass the data into uh, plain data and return it back. The support normalization uh, methods should do same as normalization. It should check that we have tag manager and our data is uh, similar as configurable class name. At current state, tags converted to object import result, but import re results are not saved to database. Let's do that using custom strategy. Uh, strategy should in implement strategy interface it sh and it should contain uh, one method named process. Uh, if, uh, as an example, um, here we can see that uh, entity that does, sorry, that does not contain data channel will not be processed. Uh, so our custom strategy should extend configurable add or replace strategy and uh, it will drop text as configurable add or replace strategy doesn't know about text property and it's not configurable. So before entity is processed we need to save tagins into our internal storage and run a configurable add or replace strategy before process entity method. <coughs> Once entity was processed, uh, let's check that entity is not empty and it's still taggable and we have any saved tags. Uh, in, if uh, this condition is successful, let's set tags back into entity and save its tagging using save tagging method from tag manager. <coughs> but we should do that without flash. Flash will be done once job was successful. So now we are able to, to import and export process. Let's check that. that. Let's e export some entities and check that the resulting tags are empty. I'm sorry. Okay, we have text list colon here and uh, tags are empty for all entities. Let's add some t existing text to one of our entities. Let's check Albert Supermarket's B2B customer and add some text. For, ex for example, I will use existing friends tag and VAP tag. In addition, I will add uh, some new tag named existing and save this entity. Those tags should appear in exported file now. Let's find Albert Supermarket Entity.
sorry, probably wrong file was opened. I will do an export one, one more time. And check that result contains added text. Okay, here it, here it is. So it contains ju just added friends, VAP, and one existing text that I created using UI. So let's add some imported tag and another imported tag. And after imp import is processed. Text from imported file should, should appear on Entity View page. So import and export process is uh, managed by Akineo Bad Jobs. So please check its documentation. This bundle is inspired by Spring Batch, so you can visit its documentation for detailed process description. For existing implementations, you can check our CRM LCM bundle. Documentation is available in documentation repository and on orocrm.com website. There is an article related to import and export speed in our cookbook. Please check bundle documentation for references. For sources, please visit next repository. Thanks for your attention. Feel free to ask questions and we will answer them.